we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, June 17th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Good morning and welcome back once again. Thank you for joining us here today. We're jumping right into our biggest story of the day, which is news that broke a few days ago when the internet almost exploded after Sergio Oliva Jr. announced that he was pulling out of the Chicago Pro. I don't have time to get into all the details about what ultimately led to him making the decision. You can check out Heavy Muscle Radio for that. But Sergio laid it all out on his Instagram if you're interested. But I will say this, not having Sergio in the show is a huge loss for everyone because he's a Chicago kid. And love him or hate him, he's still one of the biggest personalities in bodybuilding. And now that he won't be there, presumably occupying a spot in the top three, it leaves the door open for someone else to walk through. And considering how big the show already feels on paper, a top three finish there could set the stage for something a whole lot bigger a few weeks down the road. You know how people say that location, location, location is the key to making it big in real estate? Well, in some ways, it almost feels like that's true in bodybuilding too with the way athletes flock to certain gyms in different parts of the world. And according to reports, Brandon Curry might be about to hop on a jet and head out to Kuwait to train at Oxygen Gym for the next few months as he gets ready for the Olympia. A few days ago, Brandon said that he was finally able to obtain a visa which would allow him to travel overseas again so he can link up with the team out there at Oxygen that helped him win his Olympia title a few years ago. Whether or not this ends up being a deciding factor for him this year still remains to be seen. But for someone as rooted in his home life here in the US as Brandon is, I think it speaks volumes about where his head is at right now. And it shows you how far he's willing to go to win back that title. Now, keep what I just said about Brandon Curry in mind while you're looking at these photos of Big Ramy, because this is what he'll need to beat if he wants to be the first athlete in the history of the Open to win his title back the year after he lost it. I heard from more than a few people that ramy has been balls to the wall in the gym for the last few months, and that he's probably paid more attention to detail for this prep than he has at any other show in his life. Ramy doesn't want to be a one-time champ. He knows the history of bodybuilding and he knows what keeps this title would mean for his legacy. And I also think the fact that he's been there before plays an important role too because he knows what it takes to be at the top. And I don't see him wanting to give that spot up anytime soon. And finally, we're closing out today with some big news from Jeremy Potvin who announced that he was leaving the men's physique division and switching over to classic physique next year. I think this announcement came as a major shock for men's physique fans because Jeremy just placed fourth at the Olympia last year and he looked a lot better than he did when he placed 10th two years ago. That being said, Jeremy did have one of the best backs in the division and he's definitely got the structure from the waist up. So if he can add another size or two to give himself a chance to be competitive, I don't think making the Olympia as a classic athlete next year would be completely out of the question. Logan Franklin just did it last year, so the blueprint is there. He just has to find his own way. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.